Ray Gray has been in prison for nearly 50 years, one of Michigan's longest serving inmates. There is a legion of attorneys, investigators, advocates, and everyday people who believe Ray should be free, not merely because he's been in so long, but because they believe he's innocent. Tonight, in our exclusive report, there is a major development from the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office that could help set Ray Gray free. He doesn't deserve this. Please let him be free. For decades, Barbara Reinhart Gray has dreamed about the day her husband walks out of prison a free man. They met back in the 70s when she was teaching art at Jackson Prison. The man would become her husband with such a talent he took over teaching the class, and he's been filling canvases with wonder ever since. But talented prison artist is just a part of the Ray Gray story. In 1973, Ray was convicted of first-degree murder in a robbery and murder of a drug dealer, despite the fact that there was no physical evidence connecting Ray to the crime. In fact, four witnesses told the judge that Ray was at home when the crime occurred. But one witness told the judge she thought Ray was the killer. He was convicted of first-degree murder, and the judge sentenced him to life in prison. Over the years, developments ran in Ray's favor. Other witnesses came forward, even an accomplice in the actual crime. Ray passed a lie detector test. None of it mattered, and Ray remained behind bars. He needs to have the recognition of a kind, gentle, talented man who has suffered since February of 1973 for something he had absolutely, positively nothing to do with. Bill Proctor was the longtime reporter for Channel 7. He now works on Innocence Project cases like Ray's. Of the many cases he's worked, this one grinds on him the most, in part because Gray, a once promising young boxer, had basically no criminal record. Almost five decades of this man's life, never mind the early promise, have essentially been stolen. Ray's art has helped draw attention to his plight. In fact, Proctor has tried to help sell Ray's paintings to raise money for his case. But the cell has remained locked tight, even after the intervention of Ella Stafford, the deputy director of the Detroit Crime Commission, who's convinced of Ray's innocence. In 2019, Wayne County's Conviction Integrity Unit looked into the case and said they could not confirm Gray's claim of innocence. One key problem, with the exception of Ray, a lot of the key players are dead. But now, many months later, and nearly 48 years since Gray walked into prison, Worthy is ready for one of the state's longest serving inmates to go free. And looking at that and reading over everything myself as well, and my team felt this way as well, uh, we think this is a good candidate for commutation um, uh, for many reasons. Even though we couldn't substantiate the claims of innocence, we feel that this is a case where we would be pushing very hard to support any claim of commutation that he chooses to make. And I would be fully on board with that. I was delighted to hear that. I mean, I, I, I think that Ray would really, really like to, um, to get his conviction reversed um, because he truly is innocent. But I mean, let's face it, at some point, if, if there's, you know, walking out of prison one way or the other is important to you, uh, you should take it how it comes. It is great news for the Army that has stood by Ray for these many years. I hope it means that our attorneys, um, Gabby Silver and Phil Komorski and, and the governor and everybody else will finally pay attention and let him out. However they do it, I don't care. And I don't think he does. He'll fight to prove his innocence when he's out, if that's what it takes. But he won't confess to something he didn't do. So now what? Well, the commutation application has been filed with the state parole board by a fellow named Gary Weingarten, a New York bar owner who just decided to become part of Ray's army. Kim Worthy's important support can now be added, and it will be up to the board to pass it along to, the, to Governor Whitmer. We, and of course many, many others, will be following along.